Hey YouTube, it's Mitchell Z back again. I just wanted to go ahead and churn out one more video today because I've been a little bit behind on my video capture lately, but I'm trying to get caught up. Just an update for you though. We just ordered a brand new camera and we're gonna be shooting video with it for my husband's film. He actually is a screenplay writer and we're gonna be filming that and it's going to be a short film, but Basically, this is kind of like grassroots, you know, we know all of the actors <laughs> and, and shooting. I'm a photographer, but I'm kind of switching over to video. Um, so we ordered DSLR that will capture video. And so I am going to be tremendously busy with that project in the next few weeks. We're going to be shooting periodically. We're going to be editing. And so it's going to be a lot of work technical work and I'm just I'm one of those technical brain nerd type people <laughs> so I'm kind of in charge of all the lighting and all the technical aspects and everything so it's going to be a large project so I wanted to go ahead and film some videos today so you're gonna notice I'm in the same outfit as you know the previous video earlier this year I think it was in January, I did a haul where I went and picked up a whole bunch of Affigy products. And what I wanted to do today is talk to you about how that whole experiment went. Because what I did is I did it for six weeks. And what I did is I would, um, one wash day, which is usually a Friday or a Saturday for me, I shampooed. And then I used a series of Affigy products all in a row. And then I styled my hair. And then the following week, I would have my wash day on Friday or Saturday. And then that particular week, um, after shampooing my hair with whatever shampoo that I chose, um, I would go ahead and follow that up with a moisturizing, deep conditioning treatment. And then I was just alternating. So I did three weeks of the Affigy products and then three weeks where I just did my hair, you know, like I normally would. And so... After that, I thought it was going to sort of like fortify my hair, strengthen my hair. I was just trying to see if the Affigy products were better at doing that than just your regular homemade protein treatment. You can use eggs, avocado, yogurt, things like that for protein. So this is a little bit of a review and a little bit of an update to let you all know how that went. Well, first off, what I would do after I shampooed my hair is I was using the Affigy Two Minute Reconstructor. So this is sort of like a creamy type conditioner protein treatment. It is considered a light protein treatment. It says two minute, but I usually will leave it on for like 15 to 20 minutes with a cap. I have used it with heat before and then sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It really doesn't matter. I think it works, you know, either way. Um, so I was using this. Once I rinsed my hair out, I was using the Affigy Pro Vitamin, Pro Vitamin Leave-In Conditioner. And this is like a watery consistency, so I had to put it into a spray bottle and I would spritz all of my hair with it. And then I went on top of that and I used the Keratin and Green Tea Restructurizer. So you can see after three uses, I actually didn't use very much of this product at all. Now after the two minute reconstructor, sometimes what I'll do is I'll go ahead and rinse that completely out in the shower and then I'll use Tresemme Naturals, the moisturizing conditioner after that because it is a protein, it's going to make your hair have like a little bit of a stiff feel and I kind of want it to, you know, give a little bit more slip to my curls so the Tresemme is the bomb for that and then rinse that out and then get out of the shower, do the leave-ins. So my thing about using the Affigy system is that the two minute reconstructor did a really good job on my hair and my curls responded to that by you know being curlier and tighter and I would go to use these leave-ins and that's where I ran into trouble. So what was happening is I would use this and then I would use this right on top of it and it felt like this one was making my hair feel stiff. Now, I do remember have, having that reaction before when I used to use this when I was transitioning from relaxed to naturals. I do remember that reaction to my hair when I used this. So what I would do is I would use a leave-in right over top of that. So that was happening again. So I used this 
It's the Split In Protector by Herbal Essences in the Touchably Smooth line. And this is basically long-term relationship leave-in, um, but in a different bottle with a different name. But it's pretty much the same product. Um, so I noticed that after I sprayed those two leave-ins all over my hair and I used that on top of it, I would apply that in sections. So I had like two sections up here, two sections back here, and I would apply the creamy leave-in. That gave me back a lot more softness. So then from there, I could twist my hair up, do a braid out or whatever. Because sometimes when I take a section, you know, I want to like brush it out with a dim end brush or something like that. I kind of didn't like the fact that that was kind of the only way that I could use the two products is if I used something creamy over top in order to get my hair soft again. I didn't really like the stiff feeling that it had on my hair. I used the Affigy Leave-In and the Affigy Green Tea Restructurizer. So when I did that, my hair... Um... The flat iron job that I did, it was it was as straight as it normally is, but the feeling that it left behind was just like, it really felt kind of dry to the touch. It felt, and I always, you know, deep condition. So I pretty much did my regular routine, but I don't know. I still just had that stiff feeling in my hair so I really didn't like that about I it. I don't know so you can see I haven't really used it since because what I did after that time when I flat ironed my hair and it felt really dry from using the Affigy stuff I clarified my hair I used this I deep conditioned using a moisturizing deep conditioning treatment with the Tresemme Naturals I rinsed that out and then I went ahead and did like a creamy leave-in, like the Paul Mitchell leave-in that I like to use. And I used um, the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray for my heat protectant. And my results were awesome. It was the lightweight, really flowy, you know, it was like a completely different result from when I used the other two products. Now, when I went back to Curly, I clarified my hair again. Oh, because I also used the IC Fantasia Heat Protect Serum, which is silicone, and I wanted all that silicone out of my hair. So I used the clarifying shampoo, which is my Ores um, Creamy Aloe Shampoo. Clarified, I used this again because I was coming back to curly, so I wanted to give it a protein boost. And then I deep conditioned with moisturizing deep conditioning treatment and then rinsed it out and my curls were just like I don't know I mean this stuff it just brings your curls back like you know there's no worrying but I think using it before heat and after heat is what really made the difference I wasn't just using the sulfate free shampoo I was using a clarifying shampoo and then applying this I do feel like I got better results from this product by doing that. Out of the three Affigy products, if I were to make a suggestion for natural textured hair, wavy hair, curly hair, hair that has any type of texture to it, texturized hair even, I would say go ahead and give this a try because it is pretty much like a conditioner, but it is going to give your hair you know, you're going to have to balance it out with some moisture probably in the same night, which is what I like to do, and I tend to have better results that way with it. But it can be used alone too because it is a light protein treatment. If you're sensitive to proteins on your hair, then it's probably not a good idea to use this. But if your hair loves protein like my hair does because I tend to use heat off and on, I really would suggest this because it's more like a conditioner it's easier on our textured hair. My hair responds really well to this. Like, if my curls are just kind of eh, and I use this, it's just like Curl City. Like, my curls just like really curl up from it. Um, so it's the protein boost that my hair really needs. I definitely am going to keep stocked up on this. But these other two products, 
I'm still just a little bit more than underwhelmed using them on my natural hair. I feel like I'm going to cool out on this one and maybe just experiment using this one only. So I just wanted to give you that update just to let you know how the Apogee products worked for me. Leave some comments below. I'm really curious to find out if any of you are using any of these products and how they work for you. And otherwise, that's all I've got in this video. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.